Got another hot penny stock for you, I do. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's Tuesday, February 13th. Now, what I do on this show is just share my own personal due diligence on a hot penny stock. I'm a day trader. I trade penny stocks. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market, and I am constantly keeping my eye open for stocks that have potential to make us money. Now, normally when I find these hot stocks, I'm looking at the charts. I can see a lot of charts in a little amount of time, and at a glance, I can see if there's heat in the chart. It's easy. Anybody can. You can see a blue tsunami across the bottom of your chart. That's volume coming in. You can see the price cutting through strong SMAs. That's a breakout. Well, when you see a chart that has heat, then invest the time to go through their filings and their press releases looking for a catalyst. If you can find a hot piece of news to go along with that hot chart, you've got yourself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I like to trade and the sort of stocks I like to share with you. And I got one for you right now. This is ticker T-O-O-N, Toon, Cartoon Studios. Now, I'm more than vaguely familiar with this company. I remember when they came on the market about three and a half years ago, and I did get into them. And I can't remember what caused it, but she started to run one day, and it was one of her biggest runs. We were closing in on $20 when I got in for two. Then all of a sudden, an article came out the day it was running. It had been put out by the Hindenburg Group, if I remember correctly, which is a group of shorters. They put out an article of bad news to stop the surge so that they could make money. Now, there's nothing illegal about doing that if you're printing the truth, as long as you're not lying. But the information they gave was no big deal. They were basically saying that Genius Brands, which is what they were called back then, wasn't making near the same revenues as their competitors. Well, no duh. The company just got started. Their competitors were huge, but still, that stopped the run. Well, since then, they've made a lot of gains. They have grown huge. They are now around the world, and they just reported some of the strongest revenues that they've ever had. Toon finished the day at $1.62 with almost 24% gains, and she is a major exchange penny stock on the New York Stock Exchange. Now, it really doesn't take a genius to figure out what this company does with a name like Cartoon Studios. They are into children's entertainment. They make cartoons, lots of different cartoons. And some of them actually have celebrities in them, like Shaq, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Stan Lee. Now, Stan Lee isn't alive anymore, and you may not actually know the man, but you know his work. This is the man that invented and created the superheroes for Marvel comic books. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, all came out of his head. Now, the cartoons are their primary product, but the cartoons are for one purpose, really, to push their physical products. They sell everything, DVDs, books, dolls, plush animals, T-shirts, toothpaste. They have it covered, and this is where they're making very strong revenues. Now, they are showing these cartoons all over the world in lots of different languages, and they are on the biggest platforms. Apple, iOS, Amazon Prime, Dish, Roku, YouTube, HBO Max, Comcast, Pluto, and Tubi. And what sort of cartoon network would you be if you weren't on Nickelodeon, right? So they are everywhere. So let's take a look at our relative volume for Tune. Oh, we've got a big increase. She was doing about 123,000 shares on an average over the last 30 days. Today, we exploded to 3.4 million shares. Share structure for Toon. That's not looking bad. Outstanding share count is only about 35 million. Now, I don't have a clue what the float is. They don't tell us. But I do know it's not going to be over 35 million and could be considerably less. So honestly, no matter how you slice this, we've got a great float. Market cap for the company, we're roughly 46 million. Financials for the company. Oh my God, what an explosion for 2022. Over the last three years, she's been doing from two and a half million to roughly $8 million. We know it's millions because we got to add three zeros to any of the numbers here. At the end of 2022 though, they did over $62 million. That is a huge jump, folks. And the best part about it is they're making profit. 
In 2021, they lost twice as much as they brought in. 2022, they brought in 13 million in profit. Taking a look at the quarterly reports, uh-oh, that is not what I was expecting. They say that their revenues, I do believe they set a record-breaking. That doesn't look like it's on a record-breaking course to me. A year ago, we were roughly $20 million. At the end of the third quarter of 2023 in September, we were half of that at $10 million. And again, we're losing money. I don't understand. <laughs> Looking at that balance sheet, cash in the bank, we got about $3.8 million. Total assets, $136 million. Total liabilities is about half of that, $63 million, which means we've got positive shareholder equity of over $72 million for this company. Yeehaw! <laughs> Looking at our disclosures. All right, we've got one recent 8K here, and this is actually about a news press that just came out, and we can get that by looking at the news. So we're looking at a few pieces of news here. It's really business as usual. They are just increasing everything that they're doing, increasing production of their products. They're making more cartoons. They're making more money. Cartoon Studio announces significant increase in content production planned for 2024. The filing that we just looked at, the 8K, that is Cartoon Studios and Penguin Young Readers launch new Llama Llama merchandise retail promotional and charitable program at Kohl's. So they've made a deal with Penguin Young Readers and Kohl's to sell more of their products for their cartoon series, Llama Llama. And then on the 13th of, uh, well, today, Cartoon Channel achieves record revenue subscriber growth, and global coverage. Now, I'll tell you what's most funny about this. The headline tells us they achieved record revenues, but nowhere in this news press is there even a dollar sign, let alone a mention of what sort of revenues they're talking about. None. So we have actually got to wait for the financials to come out, which is any time now. That's the catalyst. Now, I will share with you what they tell us here. Cartoon Channel. U.S. paid subscribers increased in 2023 with new trials more than doubling in Q4. International market penetration increases with dedicated channels in 61 territories and branded blocks across Europe, Middle East, Africa, and Latin America, reaching a combined population of nearly 1.8 billion people. That's a huge audience they got there. Apple's App Store user ratings beats all major competitors, including Netflix, Disney, Cartoon Network, and Nickelodeon. Put all of them on the shelf, people are grabbing up Cartoon Studios before they grab Nickelodeon, Netflix, or Disney. That says a lot, folks. The company is growing. They are catching momentum right now, and they tell us they've got record revenues, though I can't find one dollar sign anywhere in here I'm going to take them at their word. So the chart is hot. It already started breaking out today just because of this news. And like I said, they don't give us any dollar values, but they tell us they are cutting down expenses. They are increasing production. So things look like they're getting bigger and better. And the chart looks like it's reacting to that news. <laughs> let's go take a look at it. So let's do some charting for Tune. I've got her ready on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. We are looking at a six month, four hour view for Cartoon Studios. We've got a high here back in June of last year of $3.53, then a steady fall down to the low bubble of 93 cents, which she hit in November. Now, as you can see, she has been breaking out these last couple of days, strong. She's pushed up really strong. Matter of fact, let's grab a resistance here. I can see one sitting right about there. And that's just about the one she's trying to hit right now. That is roughly $1.90, $1.91. Another one would be about right there. That gets us at $2.20. And let's grab one more. This one about right there. $2.40. Nice, easy ones to remember. A buck ninety, two twenty, dollars and two forty. dollars And right now, she's knocking on the door of that one ninety. dollars so we've had that long, drawn-out 
fall down to this 93 cents. She did bounce up over the 200, was up there for over a month, dipped underneath, and right now she is breaking out. She hit a low here of $1.10, worked away across all the SMAs, got close to the 200, but never touched it. In the meantime, all of the SMAs were turning. As you can see, every single one is pointed up right now, and she has crossed that 200 with fervor. You can see the bars, the size they were here, and the size they are on the other side of the 200. She is very happy to be up and climbing right now. Volume has been growing over the last couple of days with a huge spurt today. Our oscillators are all very strong. Every single one of them is on fire and pushing up. This is a perfect four-hour chart. Let's take a look at that 20-day, one-hour view. So we hit that low of $1.10. She did bounce up. She snuggled up to that 200, then pushed away from it. You can see she's on the 50 now, right? She is getting lighter and more buoyant. Then she pushed away, got up on her 200 haul, and then launched. She took off. This is about her launch point, $1.28 up to $1.90, pulling back, and we're getting a bull flag right now. You can see that. A little button nose right there on the end. Looks like a, a seahorse or something. So... It came down to the nine-day SMA, did not go underneath it, is still sitting above it. All of our SMAs, including the 200 now, are all pointing up. Our oscillators are strong, but they have cooled off, as you would expect, but nothing looks bad. Our RSI is still in the overbought at 75 right now. Let's take a look at that five-day, five-minute. Not much going on for the first few days of the week, right? She got on top of the 200, gave us a few bounces, and that was it. She pushed herself off, got up onto that 50, and once on the 50, she launched herself from a buck 28 up to a dollar 90. She has fallen down through all of the SMAs. This was looking pretty bad, but right now she is leveling off. She has found a floor here, absolutely. She is banging her head up against the 20, which she did here. She had a couple breakthroughs coming up to the 50. She could come down to the 200. There's nothing saying she can't do that, but she looks like she's trying to climb. Right now, we're at $1.61 here. This is down at $1.48. Now, it's always smart to wait to see if she's going the direction you want. Don't buy it if she's still falling. Wait for the bounce. And she may bounce off of this. She may bounce off of another one. Don't just stick to one chart, folks. If she is hanging in the air right here, chances are on one of my other charts, she's sitting on something. Right there you go. She is hovering over that 200-day haul. Now, maybe it's even closer on the 30. Mm, she's hanging on to her 9-day on the 30. But you can see, she took a big rise. She came down. I'm going to grab my Fibonacci here because I want to show you the halfway point. The surge started down here. So we're going to poke there and poke the top. We're looking for that 50% mark right here. She went up, came down, hit the 50% mark perfectly, rolled off of it, and now she's hovering over it. This looks really good, folks. If you can stay above the 50% mark, chances are more likely that you're going to climb from this point and not fall. And vice versa, if you go underneath the 50, you continue falling till you hit a strong SMA. So this looks good. Looking at our split right here, she is above the 50. I am liking tune, folks. We're waiting for the financials to come out. They say they're record-breaking. That's going to be a huge jump from where we just saw them, half of what they were last year. That could cause this thing to run hard. I don't know when the financials are going to come out, so I'd be putting T-O-O-N on my watch list today. Now, it isn't going to hurt you to do any more research. The more you know, the more you're going to grow. We'll leave it at that. See you, folks.